So what's up guys and welcome back to this tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how you can add 3D text to your scene on uh, Element 3D. Um, 3D text on Element 3D and also add um, a camera animation and also cast shadow of your object or whatever you're adding. So without further ado, so let's get started. So here we go. First thing I need to do is create in a solid, new, and then solid. I'm just going to name this element. I was done. Name this is the correct. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is come over to effects, video copilot, and then element. I can also add that by coming over to this effect and preset to add that, but I don't want to. I just want to show you guys the other way. So the next thing I want to do is add in my text. I can also easily click on T and then click and then write. Let me just say the word man, like you seen in that preview. And uh, it doesn't mean if it's in the middle or anywhere, it can just be anywhere. Let me scale this up a little bit. So you can see it. small. Okay, so the next thing you want to do select your element layer and then come over to um, custom layers and then open text, custom text and max, and then click on this none. You can see parts on different parts. I'm gonna be selecting part one and then selecting man. Okay. So click on scene setup. So now this is the part where we have to use the extrude, the extrude come and click on the extrude. And then wow we have the man here but you can see it's not having any color no texture or nothing so if you want to add any texture or color you can just easily come over to the bevels there are actually different presets you can actually use guys for let's say let's not even come over to the bevel let's say you want to add in a manual you want to just want to add in a color for yourself just come over to this extrude slide down click on the bevel and then if you could slide down there's a part for the color it says um basic diffuse color this is just basic setting diffuse color if i should click this i can change this to red you can see it's changed um and so any color i want any color i want i can change it to it but that's not i don't want to use any of this color i want to using let's say i want to using any of this um physical um color like i can just double click and then gold i can select this bright light and select this red and select this silver whatever color i choose or let's say I don't want to use that. I want to use this already made bevel, this preset that are already here. This is the follow com preset. It comes once, once installed. I can just double click on this and then it automatically fit um select sorry, select the extrude texture and then made um, model, sorry, and then you can see it, it fits in like that, like wow. It's there. You can see it is nice and good looking. You can also select the golden one, anyone who should prefer. Like that, like that, like that. Anyone I prefer. But now let's leave it to this black one. Or let's let's leave it to this one that's black and then silver. So if you click OK now, this is what it looks like here. Oh, let me turn off this top man layer, this yellow one. Turn it off. So you can see it, it's not looking like this. It's looking like as if there's nothing there, it's just flat. So the next thing we need to do is to make it look like 3D. You need to add in your new and then add in a camera. Make sure it's a two node camera. You can easily click to change this one node and two node. Make sure it's a two node camera. Okay. So now, if we should come now, you can see the camera is here. You remember, I told you guys about this camera stuff. You can click this. Once you click this, you can actually rotate this round. It's 3D, but you cannot actually see it because everywhere is dark. So let me just turn off this to make it the PNG background. You can see it all in 3D. If you want to zoom in, press C, change. You can actually change and then zoom in. Once this is type and then zoom in. So you can see it. It's there. And then wow 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 it's now in 3d but now so you guys are asking how do we add in the background why let me just add in the background to make it look more fun so um first i can actually come over here new and then i want to add in the background solid let me just make it white one and then i have to place this underneath the elements layer so wow now we have a background even if it's one of this back to png you can see it's still there this is because we added a solid so now <clears throat> next thing we want to do sorry about that <clears throat> The next thing we want to do is add in a camera animation to make it look like the one you see in that video. So the next thing we want to do is add in a camera animation. So all you have to, have to do is go over to the beginning or wherever you want. Then select the camera and then press P on your keyboard. That is shows you the position. So I want it to start from like here and then it moves on to this part like this. So I from here, let's say from here and then um, press P 
on your position and then take this i want to take this to let me just say four or five seconds okay nine seconds will be good enough and then i want to rotate this up like this um like this will be good let me just take it like this okay so yeah so we've got something like this if i should take this back to the beginning this is what you have now it's really fast though because the yeah, it's really fast let me let me increase the timeline the, the stuff okay you can see it now how it looks now wow it still looks a little bit too fast because the it's not that big it's just i think it's not even up to one second it's like 19 frames so let, let me increase the timeline to about four seconds or something like that so there we go okay five seconds and 23 frames so um <clears throat> so i think here should be four seconds four seconds again okay. four seconds so let me just select everything now nah, i told you how to increase the timeline alt and open bracket i'm um, close bracket to so i just wanted to end here so let me increase this stopwatch from the animation let me bring it over to this part so now if we should play this now this is what we'll get you can see it is going it's going it's a little bit slow this time because it's super green and also it's a longer uh, keyframe like four seconds animation so this is what you get it looks really good so let me back you can see it now it's finished um, finished previewing so this is how it looks like so now now we've got a nice camera animation and then everything's fine so now if you could watch the preview i did i also added a shadow so how do we add a shadow to this whole thing so let's go back to the elements click on element and then click on scene <coughs> now sorry now for us to add in a shadow oh i forgot to also tell you something like this thing uh for us to add in a shadow we need to add in a plane okay but first we need to take this text up to this it should be always be on top of this grid to make sure everything is balanced okay it should be balanced at least on top of this grid at least on top of this let me take a closer zoom so you can actually see it well so it should be on top of this grid okay now this changes so any changes to make it also affect the uh the text you did on after effect you know these, these are like two different layer elementary there's no layer after effect has no layer but any changes to make it affect there okay so this is like the control room so this now if i should go back to elements now uh, after effect you can see that the text you see the text has gone up because we moved it uh, to the top so we have to make another um adjust this camera animation with it so let me just make changes to this let me just bring this um let me make that camera animation again just click on position hold on the stopwatch and then take it to the part where you want and then rotate change on c press c to change camera movements okay so if i should play this back now we we'll still get our camera animation which is still all good all good looking even if it's still not fine yet that's not a problem so now let's go back to the elements now because now we want to add in a shadow to this so now in order for us to add a shadow we need to add in a plane a a drop uh, a plane this is the plane so you can see this is the plane now i'm going to be making this um click on the plane um the size come over here down here make this size 100 by 100 because we need the shadow the shadow needs a, a bigger plane for the shadow to show 100 by 100 and then now go over to the uv sorry you can see this go over to this uv and then uv repeat make this also 100 by 100 any size you make as a plane make sure the uv is also the same size so that the texture will fit into it okay so now um once it's like this um the next thing you need to do is come over to your texture which is this slide down 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 or you can just click on these settings here and then make sure this cast shadow is turned on and then also include matte shadow okay i think that should be it yes and then now come over back to click ok so come back to your after effect you can see there's no shadow there's nothing here so the next thing we need to do is adding a light so right click new and then adding a light and then it has to be there are different lights here. We see spotlight, parallel. So I'm going to be adding a parallel light. 
this um you can increase light intensity or you can also also change the color to whatever color you like red blue green but i'm just going to leave it as white let me increase decrease this down a little bit so it's not be too bright and then this is also the strength of the shadow you need to also uh, this needs to be turned on this cast shadow make sure it's turned on this is the shadow darkness strength so i'm going to be clicking ok okay well you can see there's still no shadow so now the last thing we have to do is enable the shadow come over to your elements layer okay so the next thing we need to do in adding a 3d in adding a shadow to the um scene come over to your element and then come over to your render settings and then come over to um where is it um matte shadows and then uh, make sure your matte shadow is enabled and then come over to your shadows and then click on enable shadows okay you can see that now that the shadows is now there if i should play this now you can see the shadows are now behind the um text you can see it. let me take this up you can see the shadows are now there behind the text wow it's looking good it's looking good for those of you who will find it difficult to place in your shadow to your um text it's um you can actually move your camera your your lighting system sorry you can actually move the light because most most of your lighting system might not be properly arranged like let me select the light this is the light now you can see it's pointing down there yeah you can come over to this if you want to change the views of the camera like where the light are actually pointing from you can come over to viewing from this has a front view i can easily just take this up take this up to this point you see my camera here if i should take this back you can notice the camera is moving you see it's moving so i can also view it from um left angle you can see the, see the camera see the text see where it's pointing down to see, you can see i can change it and then i can also view at um from right the same thing and also bottom of the you can see it or i can also check on custom view the custom view lets you also move with the camera to view 360 movement of how the lighting system have been positioned you can manually adjust it to fit the scene until your light um matches where the shadow comes out from and then if you want to go back to your scene click, click on active camera and then wow you can see now as i change the position of the light system you can see the shadow is actually bouncing on top of this whole thing which is not what i want so let me just take it back to this stuff to the way it was so it casts the shadow goes on this um whole thing okay you can see it you can see it now here yeah you can see it bounces on the floor and then you can see the shadow is actually emitting this um, let's say i want to add in more objects so maybe you can see this is not enough let me add in another object so you can see the shadow of another object click on to element so let's say i want to add in another text i can just easily come over sorry it's actually zoomed out uh let me click on this pseudo stuff let me say i want to add in another um, object let me add in this um, shape Okay, you can see it. So let me take it to this side. Okay, let me take it here. It'll be good enough. Let me give it a color of, uh, let's say, um, sorry about any noise you're actually hearing. So let me add in this um, gold texture. So let me click OK. So now you can see it. It's added, and then you can also see the shadow of the. Oh, sorry about that. You can also see the shadow of the golden cone. You can see it here as it was added. Now, um, I'm going to be adding something to this. Uh, let's say you want to add in a shape that's not there. For those of you actually making... That part is going to be for um, logo um, parts of the tutorial. But let me just add it to this part. So once we get there, it's be much easier. Let's say I want to add in a shape. Okay? I want to add in a shape that looks like um, something. Um, okay, let me just leave that part on when we get on the tutorial. Let's say I want to add in more text, like this text is not enough. I want to add in more text. Um, I want to add in more text like this. I want to add in another text. So all you just have to do is come over here, click on new. Um, let me say I'm going to add this text as we. Let me shut this down so it doesn't block what you're seeing. So now come over to your element layer close all this go back to that your custom layers again this time now we're going to be adding on since we want to add on that text we need to put this on part two layer part two so this is the we okay whatever text we want to add if we add in multiple text let me say i want to add in another text again but let me just put this we first and then click on scene setup 
now you can see it's not here i know okay to add in the text now you need to click on extrude but when we click on extrude watch what happens when we click on extrude you can see what's been added here let's check what's been added let me bring it back you can see it still says man but we added we so this is because the custom part that which that we was added to was custom part two so we need to change this now you can see from here once you select the extrude change the custom part from one to two and then now we have the we text you can see it so that's how you can also add multiple text in elements you can also bring this in or by the side well let me say i want to put it at the top sorry um oh yes oh it's going to two ways on the top you can also um give it your own let's say i come about these bevels and then also give it a yellow golden look and then it looks like this click on ok and then this you add in you can see the shadow at the back there shadow that which is we has added so as if you want to add in multiple textures you can add i mean multiple text that's how you can add keep on adding 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 and keep on adding you also uh and mind you any changes you make like see the we text here now if i add anything let me see, let's just say i select the we text and then i i wipe it out and then change it to oh 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 oh, oh. it also you can see it is also adding to it. any changes to make also the same thing with the man any changes to make let me say l l l l l it changes you can see it. this is because we have already added it to the element so it's just like a link everything's already linked together any changes to make here it affects it the trade way if we also say we want to scale scale this up if we want to scale this by pressing s on the keyboard and scale the normal text it also affects the 3d text that's another thing you also need to know so guys the next um this is the end of this part the next part will be teaching you guys how to rig animate and also import um different objects inside um element 3d